There should never be a need for a poor child or a poor family who is living within a quarter mile of an ocean to have to struggle for clean water. Graphene is a carbon structure that's one atom thick, but it also can be perforated uh, almost like a sieve to serve the role as a membrane. It's a filter that's advanced in a way that's interesting. It's not just taking out the salts, it's not just taking out minerals, it's also taking out impurities, it's taking out toxins, it's taking out viruses. And it's done in such a way that is reusable, that provides clean drinking water for people around the world with little or no energy. But that same material itself has found unique capability as being a protein harvesting filter because of its unique permeability and electrical characteristics. I think nanotechnology definitely has a lot of uh, potential for medical devices and medical applications. I envision a world where we could have filters in place in our bloodstream taking care of toxins in your, in your systems. For soldiers in the field, if they had a broken bone or broken tendon, we could inject carbon nanotube structures and carbon materials or, or nanomaterials that are attracted to the broken bone ends that would then mend the bone if it was placed properly in the field within minutes as opposed to the healing process over days. Nanomaterials have uh, very unique properties, thermal properties, strength properties, and with those properties, it just opens the door for applications to, to make a big difference in our lives. It's a platform technology. So we'll be able to create a designer material that has all the functions holistically integrated into one piece of material let's say is the skin of an aircraft, that inside of that is also contained the sensors, the energy storage, or many different multiple functions. Using some nanotechnologies, we believe we have a sensor that can be effective down to one part per trillion. And if you do that, you can then detect the off-gas that E. coli and similar bacteria have over the conveyor belt before it actually gets into the food supply chain. We can now measure and control at the individual molecular level. And that's never been possible effectively before. We are definitely on the threshold of seeing technologies be significant breakthroughs. What Lockheed Martin is really good at are taking those breakthroughs and turning them into a system that people can use.